Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to the walk through. We're now on part 15, we're in Gringotts, there's a goblin down there, so on we go, we're gonna collide with him, no! I see you have a cannot go in. Do you wish to try for the sickle now? If you wish to try for the sickle coin, you must gather the correct forms again. I have no idea why I have to do this, this is just outrageous in my opinion. Like, you know, we've pressed all the, pl all, all, all the forms before, we've got every single bit of crap of paper, why just do it again for another vault? It's just like the goblin's excuse of being like, okay, Oh shoot, we need to get the vault, the vault ready. Let's um, make him go and get all these stupid forms again and make him go on our slippery, slippery floor. That's coated with like earwax or dragon wax. Can, can he get dragon wax? I don't know. It's, it's annoying, but you know, you can't really complain too much. Okay, nearly done. Epic down the corridor. There we go. And in we go. Now this is probably actually the hardest, I would say. When I was playing it through before, just to, just to make sure I can actually do this, um, it took me a couple of goes to get all the um, all the gems. Whereas the galleons one and the bonds one, I, I, I did it first time off. Not to boast though or anything. Hello, Mr. Potter. I understand you're quite expert in the collection of canuts. I wonder if you'll prove as talented at collecting sickles. There are bonus gems. Be careful, Mr. Potter. Remember, good luck. He sounds so enthusiastic beyond belief. Yeah, I skipped the last little bits of that because, to be honest with you, the same sort of stuff that we've heard already. So, go back to the last part, everyone, to really of the magic of how you control this crazy cart contraption. Yeah, so I, I never understand why I can't go to one of these vaults because it's Harry's money after all. But then again, no, it's it's a video game, Harry Potter. I'm not gonna argue it too much. I'm just trying to remember now what the ones, what what the ones you have to do. It's also pretty slowly here, um, which is pretty groovy. And then there's a really awkward one. I think now is it? Yeah, you have to you have to turn really slowly, and sort of keep yourself locked in the air. That was close. I just one then, um, and then it'll get faster later on, and more scary sort of. It's like oh my god, tension. The only really difficult one though I find is one at the end. Where you have to um, do a really fast spin. And it's really awkward. Literally. And here we go. Tension, tension, tension. I'm going sharp now because I can actually get this. It's always a relief when you see circles that haven't got to be. I haven't got any gems to get them. If you know what I mean. Hands are starting to get sweaty actually. It's lovely for there, isn't it? Why are all these big contraptions in the way? Oh, it's a 10, is it? Oh, bollocks. I locked myself in too early. Oh, well, thank god, that wasn't a. I should have to get four. Keep yourself locked in here. Come on, I'm turning with all my might. Yes, here, here, here's your good one. Start turning now. Actually, want to stop doing it. Take it away, for God's sake. Okay. So, basically, has to turn right at the very. It, it, it's, it's really tight. We have this at the end as well. Try again. Congratulations, Mr. Potter, you have succeeded. You want to try again? Most definitely. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I will um I'll edit in when I actually get that right. That's the hardest bit. It's not really that difficult apart from that. You 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 you've just gotta start literally once you turn that corner, start turning. And it's hope for the best. Okay, see you in a bit. Yes! My advice there is to um, sort of tilt yourself to the left a little bit before you go into it. And so then so, so, so you get quite a mighty swing as you go full through to the right. If, if, if that makes sense. But there we go. Oh, all 55. Happy to have done that. Mr. Potter, what can I say? I'm overwhelmed. That is one of the best performances I have ever seen. Aww, he's so cute, isn't he? Sometimes, 
He's got a little sentimental on us. Love that. Absolutely love that. Okay. So this card gets us. That should actually, that should actually be Bertie Bot. Hope so, anyway. Bertie Bot. Yes. I can see my own two, two eyes. Thank God for that. Okay. So it's card number 15 now. God, they're getting very close to completing our collection. Bertie Bot. 1935 to present. Inventor of Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. He looks so happy there as well, doesn't he? Oh, I love it. Love, 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 love it. Put him in a good mood that I should do that, because I was like, oh, this could take me forever, you know. And that means there's just one more now to do. Because these, these challenges are undoubtedly a pain in the butt and the one hard bit in the game, really. In, in an otherwise quite straightforward game. And doing it is just like, oh, the devil farts in my face once more. <laughs> you know, it's so annoying when you have to do it again. But there you go. It took me two tries. Excellent. Do you have a sickle coin now? Do you wish to try for the galleon? If you wish to try for the galleon coin, you will have to collect the correct forms again. <laughs> so he sounds so excited. He's like, yes, you must do it again, again, and again, and again. You will never leave this endless cycle of collecting paperwork and go right this time. Whoa. How's that to change the plot? <laughs> like, no. Let's confuse the hell out of him. He's got left every time before. Let's go right this time. That will really ruin his, you know, sense, mental senses. Yeah. So the cordles here are a bit awkward, weaving your way through. Otherwise, straightforward stuff. Here we go. The last one. The almighty galleon. We can do this. And last this is us buying the, the um, epoxy ingredients. And there's one of them which is a pain, but other than that, it's... Very straightforward stuff. Swinging already. That's how eager it is. Ah, the famous Mr. Potter. You have quite a reputation down here, sir. The other goblins are convinced you'll steer the mine cart easily. Steering is still the cross button. Be careful, man. They're a bonus. Yes, yes, we know. We've done this three times already, for God's sakes. I'm slowly going mad. You've really got to look up to the left here. Whoa. Not really gold of any more, more like a pale green. Or is that, or, or is that just me? That's the way swinging these ones. Swinging back and forth. I swing my car back and forth. And no. He was a bit too loud actually to turn that down. There we go. Alright, concentrate. There are even more obstacles in this mine waiting to put more out as well, so. So, so, so some of these obstacles as well are really tight together, so you've got to put your best face on. But to be honest with you, in terms of getting the gems, I'd say the last one's the hardest. Although this, this will be the time we'll actually fail now, won't it? I, 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 I can just tell already. But uh, I'll try my best. Make it faster now. Okay. Is it so bad? Oh, yeah. I'm just too good. <laughs> ah, no! Come on. It's, it, it's only the awkward turns where you get a bit nervous. Those loop the loops that just. Oh, thank God Hyper's not here, right? He'd hate those. Okay. And the Goblin's fine, it's so casual. It is all the time. He must have such, like, you know. Strong stomachs. I'd be so crazy. Oh no! Shoot! Oh shoot! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh shoot! That was bloody close. Oh Jesus Christ, my man. Close to mighty. I'm not gonna make that. Doesn't matter, there's still chances to get more gems anyway. You can, you can, you, you can hit that multiple times and you, you, you won't get in trouble. Shoot! It's gonna be close! Shoot. Yeah, let's go. Okay. One more now, I think. I think this is the. I th yeah, I think this is it. These, these are the last ones. Is it, if, it's, if it's 65. Yes! Okay, now just a two more loops. Um, one one goes this way. And the other goes that way. Yes! And the thing is, I've. I, okay, so I've missed fair, a fair few coins there, but. And you can also hit those obstacles. But as long as you get the gems, you're fine. That's, that's, the, that's the weird thing. 
Ultimate change, whoa, mad spinning. Oh yeah, he's too good. Goodness gracious, I'm lost for words, Mr. Potter. I have never seen anyone handle a minecart as well as you do. <laughs> Apart from, you know, going through those barriers. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's sort of a contradictory thing there, you know. You handle the minecart really well for gems, but then you hit the barriers and it all goes... Ah, uh, I was about to say a rude word there, but no. Okay, so that's Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah, man. I know my witches and wizards. Take me to the Hogsmeade pub quiz and I will own. Three broomsticks won't know what hit them. Okay, card number 16. Helga Hufflepuff. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Isn't that just absolutely fascinating, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Um, the the Galleon and the, sil and the Silver ones are the easy ones. I think I'll do those. Get those out of the way. Because... The Peacock one probably take me a couple of tries. I don't know, it might, it might not, I just... The pick up one just annoys me so much, I'm going to leave it to the next part. I can enjoy it in its full glory then. <laughs> hope, you can set, hope you can detect the cycle near my voice. Okay. You've collected all three coins now, Mr. Potter. I hope you spend them wisely. Yep, I'm going to spend them on peacock feathers, on toad warts, and on a uh, now feather. The most useful things in the world. That's what every 11-year-old boy needs. Okay. You know, I'm surprised no one stops him and says, Hey, you're making all the ingredients for a dragon tonic. Didn't you know those were illegal in Britain? But no. No. Okay, so this is the galleon one here. The magical menagerie. Um, and it's really, really straightforward. I can't emphasize that enough. It's rat skipping everywhere. It's lovely. Welcome to the magical menagerie, Harry. I've been expecting you. It'll cost you one galleon for the three wards, but you'll need to find my giant purple toad first. I just had a delivery, and my giant purple toad has decided to hide under the boxes. Oh, no. Once you find him, use your knockback jinx to stun him and remove the ward. Be quick, though. Having wards removed annoys him, and he'll disappear to spite you. Is that sexist, having a stereotypical um, witch there? Look here. Do any of these boxes shake? They don't. Okay. Okay, there we go. Should we get annoyed if you destroy too many of the boxes, but um, just be careful then. Not up here. He usually goes downstairs and goes upstairs. He alternates between each floor. In the corner. In the corner one. We're a place to go. Most drugged out frog game is like, woohoo! I'm gonna whiz away! You can take my warts, but you can't take my freedom! There he is. Got you now, you bugger. Done. I see you collected your warts. Thanks for your business, Harry. Bye! Sounds so weird. You've collected your warts. Thank you very much for your business. It's like. No worries. Okay, this part's gonna be a bit longer, but screw it. I'm gonna go and see how things are going in the Owl Emporium. Because I'm just a boss. Um, so that's one would be down here. Yes, doing them in reverse order. It's my doing it, I suppose, but there you go. This one is equally as simple as the last one. There's owls everywhere. But other than that, it's really straightforward. Excellent. You have three sickle coins that entitles you to purchase an eagle owl feather. My eagle owl is in the owlery, but he's rather highly strung. He must be fed before you can charm a feather from him. His treats are on the table in the owlery. Use the Wingardium Leviosa spell to get the food to the eagle owl. Use the cross button to charm the owl treat. Once he's fed, he'll nap. Then you may use the same charm to lift the feather back. Good luck, my boy. I'll skip that one bit there, because we know how to work when Garden Levio, so we're not that silly. But seriously though, Harry's paid the shop assistants for this, and yet we're having to do it ourselves. That's a bit much, I think. Okay, so it's very simple. We just get get the owl tree, and weave it in and out of the um, of the owls that are flying about to the eagle out in the middle. Pass that one. I'll take three of them to uh, succumb him. He's a greedy owl, obviously. <laughs> they look like giant monkey nuts, don't they? Probably what they are, just monkey nuts. 
I love my pumpkin nuts, I love my pumpkin nuts. Okay, eat. There we go. If the owl gets a treat, he'll, he'll eat it. It'll fly away looking really happy, but other than that, you know, you won't fail the task. If anything, you'll be helping out the owls who are flying around and getting hungry. It's like, we want the treat as well. How dare you? Awesome music as well for these sections, I must say. Right. To me, to me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, epic music time. There we go, one eagle owl feather. We're rich! We're rich. Of all the things to have in the world. You've got your feather, I see. Well done, and thank you very much. Do call again soon, Harry, and give my regards to Hedwig. Cheerio. But she's right here. I, I, I always think that that was Hedwig there, but obviously not if you say give my regards to Hedwig. I don't know. So there we go. That's the first of the two. Uh, first two challenges. One more to go now. The bronze one in Ollivanders, which I think I'm gonna leave the next part. It's now 16 minutes in, and that's a rather long part in my books. And I need to go and get ready for university. <laughs> See you then.